first move is to stop with Leia. Hello, everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast. We're coming to you live from the XTC on GSP. You see, it's going to be right here when I disappear. But we're about to open up that GSP Choose Your Champion voting. If you're watching on YouTube, it is time to put it in the comments down below. Who do you think is going to take this game, Raphael or Ruben? The Resistance or The Rebellion, Ray Skywalker, yeah, I said it, versus, I don't know, uh, who's, it? let's see, we got Kyle, uh, Harrison Dula is, is the most iconic character on the other side, had to double check, of course she's there, and let's go ahead and have our friend Jason Grimm go ahead and break down these lists while I open up the Choose Your Champion poll. Moldy with the Moldy Crow and Jen Urso crew. We got Garvin in the T65 X Wing, so some hopefully some focus passing shenanigans. And then last but not least, we got Ben Thick uh, just to kind of help with some of those focus items the Rebels love so much with Pivot Wings, uh, Perceptive Co pilot to get that extra focus token, and Leia Organa as a crew. Now we saw, we saw Ruben start with that kind of delay maneuver right the delay maneuver we saw leia popped right away we got stops on the hawk and the u-wing and uh this kind of uh, this turn delay you could see it right there you just had the uh the x-wing and the a-wing switch spots by doing their their maneuvers there and they will come out to get together now, per, per rules, there's always somebody who's going to yell, Fortressing! Well, technically a shipped move. So, <laughs> it works. And you can't pull that same exact move off multiple times in a row. So, we'll have to wait for those Leia charges to be back up, which there are two out of three. But can definitely slow roll this squad uh, pretty easily. So, we'll see what we end up, uh, what we end up getting. Now... Here's my question to you, Jason. Uh, the Choose Your Champion polls are coming in. What team do you think will have the advantage? Man. Uh, I I mean, is Poe too heavy with, with all those... Those upgrades are, I mean, he's super maneuverable, right? Like, yeah. you can you can do a lot with Poe. He's a trigger-happy flyby for for a reason. Uh, <laughs> and Ray, <laughs> we've seen Ray do do pretty well out there, too. I, I'm a big fan of Rebels. I'm a big fan of, you know, maybe not, like, I wouldn't play Kyle Katarn myself just because I'm still um, uh, not as, as robust with it. But just thematically i like seeing that hawk out there i like seeing kyle kyle flying that hawk from you know, this is dark forces right mm -hmm. so I, I have a hard time betting against poe i see a let's see here was it a lot of them are bets are siding with reuben with the star lord mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like i, I feel like I could, I could go go the star lord star lord way Hera's out there. It's a good rebel mix. Well, as as we know, we've seen before this 
Ray can can punch through a lot, right? Can punch through a lot of defense because you know these uh, these ships that are rolling, you know, one two defense dice on the rebel side. Hera's the only one that usually has three. You know, it it's it's all good and dandy, but when Ray throws five hits at you, and you can mitigate two of them, the hawk is dead in two turns. You know what I mean? Like it is. Mm -hmm. It can go down fast, so if anybody can burn through this type of rebel efficiency squads, it's it's Ray. So I wouldn't count Raphael out, but it is going to be completely dependent on if he can get Ray into a position where she doesn't get burned down in a single turn. You have Poe relevant at the same time, hopefully with an advanced proton torpedo locked up, ready to go. And ZZ doing what ZZ does, which is, you know, you, you can utilize the back arc. But you could see uh, Raphael also bringing that cluster missile tech on there, potentially getting multiple bonus attacks. And multiple bonus, or not multiple bonus attacks, but multiple attacks via the cluster missile bonus means that we're burning through tokens uh, more efficiently. And you could end up, I would fire ZZ first before you fire Ray to try to... I mean, you either do free damage or clear tokens. So we'll see how things end up uh, end up shaking out. But Ruben, his opening very similar to Andrew Oler, and I did see a couple of people point out. Yes, this exact list that Ruben flew won the the very first qualifier, our Mon Kala qualifier for the Galactic Championship Series. By the way, our next one is next weekend. It, it is a hyperspace event, so a little bit of meta variation there from our, our extended lists, but we will be back in extended in a couple weeks after that. So go ahead, go to goldsquadronpodcast.com, get your tickets. Now remember, I did have a couple people ask, uh, Dion, do I have to pay shipping again for playing in another event and the answer is no you do not you only pay shipping once for the series and once you've done that you just add qualifiers you and at the culmination i just go ahead and throw all the prizes participation and anything you want in a single package and send it off to you when everything is done all right so i must say i'm really excited for those target locks oh they look so good they look so good. Like I, I put my my emotional self wants like wants to be like, oh, let's just 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 send them. Let's just send everything now. Like, but but then you have to do it again. I'm like you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Slow your roll, Dion. But yeah, I, I'm excited to to see these uh to get this stuff in your guys' hands because they all turned out fantastic. So, you let's pretend you're Raphael. You get to choose your target, your perfect target. Who would you prefer to burn down first? That's a let's see, that's a good question. I mean, so you got Benthic that can initiate the focus sharing, right? Initiative two. They're gonna go first. Perform that focus action, and you can transfer one of your focus tokens to a friendly ship at range one to two. You also got that perceptive, so you get you gain a focus. You can pass your spare off. Um, I'm trying to remember what that game was uh, that we that we saw on Gold Squadron where it was devastating. I, th I want to say it was Garvin, right? You got to go for Garvin um, first, uh, just because that. He he's gonna be the dangerous one, right? With, that gets those. No, Garvin's the those. Garvin's the trap. Oh, Garvin's this trap. the trap. It's it's a trap. <laughs> uh, Kyle, Kyle is is the answer there. Kyle, you got You got to take down Kyle. That's why Kyle's in the corner. It's like, oh, ignore me. I'm just I'm just hanging out here. I'm I'm nothing. He's the easiest one to burn down out of the set. And once oh yeah, you, I forgot that. I, Forgot that, that he's carrying Jin Urso because he's got yep. with Jin transferring those uh, focuses into evades. Precisely. That that's exactly it. So you get rid of the evade engine first, um, and because then that not only affects um, Kyle's ability to affect evades, but it's it's you know it, it's it's taking away evades from Garvin, Hera, and Benthic. 
And then after after that, then you can work down Benthic most likely is the next one. Um, sometimes it's going to be, depending on the engagement, you might actually have a decent shot at Garvin. Depending on where Hera is, if she's out of range for some reason, then you would do that. So you got to kind of take some shots of opportunity there. But most likely uh, it is... Um, it, it, it's Benthic after that. So the order, kill order, Kyle, Benthic, Garvin. Garvin only jumps up ahead of Benthic if he ends up abandoned by uh, by Hera. And then uh, Hera is usually last. Just look at all those tokens that are out on the Moldy Crow. Every token. All the tokens. And and that's the thing, right? If you can get rid of that that focus factory there, because it's not only helping itself, it's also it's also helping uh helping his buddies because you can end up taking a turn and saying, you know what, this turn instead of focusing, I'm gonna take a turn and I'm gonna jam you. And I still have a focus for me, and I still have a focus to end up having uh passing off to somebody else to turn into an evade. All right. ZZ testing the water, seeing what we can get. I like ZZ's position, I will tell you that. And Poe, you're forcing uh you're forcing Ruben to make some decisions here. Are you going to ignore ZZ? Because if you do, I mean ZZ's fine with that. I'm just gonna keep taking little pot shots at Kyle till they burn him down. But you know you got that threat there. Ray's positioning is okay. She can end up fitting through the middle with some precise flying. The path is... She seems a little bit too close to the... Uh, to that center rock, though, to actually fit in a bank. So I'm not not sure. But she's also fast enough to, to go in either direction. So we'll see what gets chosen here by Raphael. Yeah, really liking ZZ. I mean, ZZ kind of has a pick, right? Um, coming up, coming up in the back. Poe's almost staring down. Could be staring down pretty quick. Benthic, Hera, and Garvin. And to answer a question in the chat, the event after Lamu is Dagobah. Dagobah is taking place July 17th. That is during the Dublin, Ireland time zone. That's UTC plus one. And that is our next extended event. For those of you in the States wondering when we're coming back to a time zone on this side of the hemisphere, that would be Jetta, August 7th, the Denver, Colorado qualifier. And here we go. We're scooping up. And I think we're seeing a little bit of speed here because of the threat of ZZ. We do get Garvin bumping. Mind you, not super consequential. But I wonder if that was on purpose. Maybe they were set up a little bit too tight in the formation. And Ray reaching for target lock. More of a range check more than anything. There's no consequences. And looks like Raphael is going to be able to squeeze that Ray right between uh, right between those asteroids. Looks like it's going to be fine. Yeah, it looked like he tried to do a three bank with Garvin trying to get him past, potentially past Benthic, but mm -hmm. that bumping. And here we go. ZZ trying to make a move. Barrel roll boost is what I expect. And we're getting our first shots of the game. Shout out to Nickel City X-Wing. Rating with a group of 57. Let us know how that last game went, Greg. Right, waiting for 
the first die roll. Next moving piece here on the resistance side. And I do believe Garvin acquired, is that Garvin that acquired the evade um, when Benthic took the action? I think it was, or Benthic it, took the evade. I think Benthic focused, which turned into an evade from, uh, from Jin. All right, deciding to open up those wings. We're going into attack position. Remember, it does have overdrive thrusters. So any secondary repositioning will have to be an additional speed. So either use that two straight for barrel rolls, or you have to go two straight boost or two bank boost on the secondary reposition. Taking a focus. I guess to re to correct myself, if the reposition is the second action out of the two that you can get from Poe. But going to go ahead and set up the target lock focus. Hera's got all the things ready to dish out the tokens. And here we go. This is going to be a range three attack. So it's going to be three on three. Three hits. You don't even need that target lock and focus. What are mods? What are mods these days? Trigger happy. And you know what? Just get <laughs> natties. Natties on natties. Natties all day. Summer natties. Report in from Nickel City X-Wing saying that Malta defeated Onder. Uh, Dan from Malta defeats Onder from Spain. Uh, Spain still takes a series 4-3, but Malta asked, adding another win uh, to their collection, trying to get into one of those two spots. Malta is part of the same group as the United States, and so is Spain. Right now, right now, the United States is undefeated in uh, in this in this round. Next defense dies here. Two evades. So just denying the shot from I believe ZZ. Mm hmm. And it looks like we are going to have one shot on Poe. Poe was able to keep the focus. Didn't need it for offense. We might get out of this without any uh, any paint being scratched. The roll is one hit. Spending for two, being passed to Hera, because that's what you do. Oh, Poe is going to be taking the first damage of the game, one shield. Next shot. You got Kyle Katarn firing the side arc on ZZ Tolo. Here's the roll. And you got two hits. There we go. We got some defense. We got some defense out there. And just converting one for... For funsies man you really see the dice uh you know you got to be happy with the rolls on both sides there just seeing all all those hits all those evades like just that's just a feel good opening round like well we rolled what we wanted to roll but also no harm that's right <laughs> lots of lasers all right guys now we'll, that was fun good light show let's do it for real now <laughs> <laughs> Do 
The other thing I was mentioning about Team USA, uh, Jason, we've officially released the Team USA t-shirt. Oh, yeah. so excited. Looking hot. It is on goldsquadronpodcast.com slash shop. You can type exclamation point merch. Um, they are all... We're called. They're called all over prints, and uh, so it's a full full shirt design. Uh, they they're made to order, so they do take a couple weeks longer, or about a week and a half longer than our normal shirts if you've ordered them before. Uh, but they're looking good. We've made them available in three different styles. You can get them in an in an athletic shirt style, a normal t-shirt, or if you wanna if you wanna be a bro. Which, hey, you know, if you're a bro at heart, you're a bro at heart. You can go with a tank top, and the tank top features 50 stars on the back, because why not? You can fit all 50 stars on a on the back of a tank top? Oh, yes, you I did. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm uh, really excited about, you know, it's, it's summertime. It's hot out. I think somebody was saying it's 108 degrees in california you have that athletic shirt now that's on there with that moisture wicking fabric mm. yep that's right have to give me one of those wick time to wick <laughs> wick that moisture i'll tell you actually where i am i mean yeah, you're right yeah you got your, you you <laughs> you're my you're my mountain man all righty All righty. Decisions, decisions, where are they going to go? How's this next engagement? Hmm. Well, I mean, we're going to we're going to see Benthic end up turning here. We're going to end up turning going straight or banking in probably with Garvin. I mean, I think it's all all full send against Poe this this upcoming turn. Now, I don't... The, the question is, will Raphael joust with Poe, or is Poe on an exit, exit, exit trajectory? Well, words are hard today. Yeah, you got to wonder uh, if the block, you know, eliminating some of the lanes, because... Uh, basically, other than Hera, so Hera will move last, because Raphael has first player, but otherwise there's two opportunities for Benthic and Garvin to block. A lot of space there. Chat says, sun's out, guns out. Looks like people are, are starting to favor the, the tank top. I would at first I wasn't gonna do it, but uh Candid Clarinet, shout out to hit to, to him. He was like, Dion, we need a tank top. I'm like, I'm like, oh okay, sure. <laughs> I can do this. And now it is done. So, and, uh, uh, you you, you've seen like the stickers on uh, people's cars, right? With the actions, like your shift yeah, actions. Yeah, yeah. Do you think anybody out there has like a tattoo with the actions, and then you want to just like show them off? Yeah, that actually, tank? that's that's exactly where I actually was going. I know some people have some pretty cool Star Wars tattoos. I'm not a tattoo person myself. Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna say that rather than 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 say I'm scared. Um, actually, is, is my mo is my mother here? I I think it's. Uh, <laughs> She's in the backyard. Uh, I, I know she would say something. So I have the door open right now. Um, as a ch as a kid, my mom told me, if you ever get a tattoo, I will cheese grate your arm. <laughs> like I have, I have that day. I have, I have that that day like burned to my memory. So um, maybe that's the reason why. <laughs> but uh, they're they're definitely you know there's some really cool ones out there. I've seen some people uh, with with different like you know characters and ships. I don't know if I've seen anybody do actions though. That's that'd be pretty pretty dedicated. But it's probably the safest thing from the game to put because it's you know they're just like symbols. 
Yeah, something like that, or like the outlines of your of your favorite ships. Um, obviously, the faction symbols you'll, you'll probably see those uh, oh, quite yeah. a bit too. Yeah, I, I don't do any tattoos because, well, this far north, I mean, you don't get a good overall tan going for a while, and just you know, don't want to blind anyone. <laughs> And here we go, going hard in the direction of Poe. We'll see if the rest of the ships end up doing the same thing. Taking a focus, Benthic shenanigans, pass a focus to Hera. Look, look at the conservative play here by Ruben and the Hawk. Just keeping it out of the way. That jet skirting that board edge. Yeah, that I mean that jet or that Jan Or's ability is fantastic, right? It just needs to be in your arc, which basically means that it's range zero to three for that ability. ZZ coming in. I wonder if we'll get a target lock set up in these upcoming turns. And that's exactly what was... Uh, I had foretold it. Predictions. I saw into the future using the Force. <laughs> Ooh. Target lock close. boost. I like this. That's going to be a cluster missile going at Benthic and a potential bonus attack going at Garvin or Hera. I mean, f whatever floats your boat. All right, Ray's there as well. Poe, are you coming in? Nortic111 subscribing on YouTube. Nano Antonio says, I've heard of La, La Chancla, but. <laughs> <laughs> So right now, uh, Benthic is gaining all the target locks, and uh, see just Hera kind of hanging out, you know, just prepping for the uh, the token passing, just kind of staying, staying out of the engagement a bit. Yep. Poe flew one straight. Focus barrel roll to the left with overdrive thrusters, maybe. You might be able to get out of the arc. That's yeah, close, though. Focus. Uh, he's reaching for a boost, but that Ooh. clearly goes over the rock. I mean, that position would have been pretty baller. Oh, man, I wonder. Oh, does the barrel roll fit? You know what? You know what this tastes like? This tastes like a... Yep. Bumps there. This tastes like a, a GSP casino moment. Let me go ahead and save this instance. <laughs> All right. Let me save go the ahead. game state. Saving game state. Extra betting at the end. That's right. Saved. All right. We got it. Well, Poe, Poe is, uh, is a bit compromised, sitting range one there. Raphael, disappointed the boost didn't fit. Was trying to squeeze that in. Oh, speaking of Mama. Hi, Mama. Am I live? Yes, I'm live. Am I almost done? We got 45 minutes on the clock. I love you. I, I can do it in 45 minutes. <laughs> I believe that Our. was a ATP shot and spending the target lock, but not not too much coming out of it. Oh, that that is anemic. Only a hit crit. Right, five dice range range one. So, did he not have? Did he spend the target lock? Yeah, it didn't. Oh. It didn't reroll that well. He got oh. uh, just an eyeball out of the reroll, and then Man. converted one hit to a crit. But 
Uh, he held on to the focus, so didn't even take the three. All righty, here's a range two shot. ZZ pecking away. Single crit. Reroll with that cluster missile target lock. Got two. Natties. Wow. Oof. The disrespect. Are we going to get the bonus attack? You got range two to everybody except Kyle, and the choice is going to be to go to Garvin. This one's squeaking. Only one. He's got an evade. Nothing there. And the advanced proton torpedo not coming up for anything there. Definitely hurts. That's definitely a range one. Feels bad. Here's Ray trying to do her thing, trying to help out. Hit, hit, crit using the force ability. Spend evade, one shield. What will you end up trading for that one shield that you took off of Benthic two tubes? Hi, Cece. Oh, that's just barely. That was barely outside on, on Garvin. Almost had the back corner of Poe. So we just got the one one range, range one. One can be enough. Four dice coming in. And deciding to go at Ray instead? Ray is the real threat in this list. Three focuses. That's going to be three hits. All the focus tokens just available. Just sitting there. Spend the force. Takes two. Two shields on Ray. Yeah, this one, this this game is coming up right now. All Team Mexico, like they they, uh, you have Benthic two tubes here looking like a god, only taking a single shield after being shot three times. I'm sorry, two shields. Correction. Even so, oh no, no lies. One shield. It was two shields on Ray. Man. Yeah, definitely Ruben on the winning side. Now, I will say it is I'm kind of surprised that Benthic didn't take a big punch at Poe. He was sitting there at range one, but I guess it's because he had the focus token. But it works out. Shout out to my doggy, Cece, sitting in my lap. Aww. Yeah. She's what going to. What type of dog is it? She is half dachshund, half rat terrier. She's going to the vet tomorrow. She jumped off. She jumped off the like our kitchen chairs. She landed weird. She's just kind of kind of walking a little funny. So we're gonna get her get her checked out. Give her a day of rest and take her take her to the vets just in case. Take care of those puppers, those kitties, iguanas. I don't know what weird pet. Anybody got a weird pet out there? No, no, no. Stay. Got any? Your be bearded dragons are making a comeback. <laughs> I've known like three people that have gotten them recently. Yeah. And do you think uh, 
Ray, like one bang to the right, and you still have that rear arc. Yeah, I, I, I like, I like the idea of of going away right now. Like, don't try to joust. This is not a good spot for Ray. Just go out, use the back arc, reset. Probably end up using that top right hand side of the board and bringing it around. Otherwise, you got two people going over over that asteroid. Mm hmm. And because with the with the two bank being attempted with the overdrive thrusters boost and that not fitting, you know that the two bank doesn't fit, which means the three bank doesn't fit without bumping. And here is the Leia trigger. Too hard. Gonna go ahead and use Benthic's ability for the focus passing. This three turn for Kyle is white because of Leia. And we got a 4K. By Garvin, trying to catch Azizi. That is a that is a nice effect of Leia. Just making that. Oh, you want a 4K? Here you go. It's white. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going? Where's Ray? Taking the two turn. Oh Ooh. no. Does not fit on the rock. And if you're wondering, no, that ship does not come. No, sorry, it does. He had a three turn. He has a three turn. Could have done that. Is that another uh, betting opportunity? See if that three turn would have fit on that first asteroid? I think you're right. <laughs> GSP Casino. It's a it's an offshoot of the uh, template game right now. That's right. Ooh, Hera Hera coming in and uh, getting ready to finally uh, target ZZ. Been picking on my friends. I'm gonna turn around and fight you. No. All right, we're gonna be getting into engagement now. So Ray did end up losing a shield on that rock, by the way. So shields are down. Oh, that fit. You just squeaked that by that asteroid. Ooh. That the one bank? It sure yeah. was. Hey, when it works, it works. He is becoming the more wizened to season Poe. The two bank didn't fit, but now I know the one bank. <laughs> now has those wings closed rookie wookie coming in with an xtc update netherlands made it 4-0 very close games though gotta love the tough matchups Ooh, trying the barrel roll to the right and failing. Does not fit that template. Being obstructed by that rock takes a stress. 
Poe wishing he had a little bit more range, but you know what? You got a shot on the priority target. Burn down that bird. No, nope. is he? Now, a reminder on the timing for Hera. I think they were just talking about whose tokens okay. are whose. On the timing for Hera, that happens during the dice modify step. But Hera shoots first. So Ruben is the first player. We got one hit. Going to hold on to the focus. Not willing to spend it. Nothing there. Well, no damage. This rolled two. Here's Poe going in the Kyle. You're going to have two shots. Two range, two shots at that. And on those two dice, only getting a single hit again, not spending the focus, and didn't even get Kyle to spend a focus token. Here's Hera passing a token to Kyle to use for the modification. And here's range one from ZZ to low into Kyle Katarn. Got one crit and an eyeball. Con adds one more because it's range three. Got the third hit. Or got a second hit, excuse me. And yes, uh, blank two out. Down. Hey. You oh, got spent some. Passing yeah. evade. Yeah, so you, you're gonna, <laughs> you, got, you got tokens. one. You got one. It's better than nothing. And shots are pouring in here. Here's Garvin. Has a clean shot on Poe. In this list, Poe Dameron is more expensive than Ray, sitting at 78 points to raise 70. So Poe going down, it is uh, it is pretty detrimental to the squad, just from a point standpoint. Here's the roll. You got hit, hit, crit going into the trigger, happy fly boy. Red leader, you're taking two damage. From Red Leader. Wow. Shields down. Just have the just have the meat left. And you still got a couple shots coming in. Here is a moldy crow range to attack. It's gonna be three dice. You got one hit from it. Poe hoping to roll some paint. Got one. Spend that focus. Don't give up the half points. A reminder that Ray cannot fire this turn because they are on an asteroid. When on an asteroid, you are unable to perform attacks unless you have some way to avoid that. So right now we are we we are more than halfway done with our time. No points have been scored quite yet, but we're pretty close. One more damage on Poe. We'll go ahead and add the first points to the board. You need to get two more damage on the Kyle to start scoring there. And with ZZ in tow, ZZ is right there. Expect her, uh, expect ZZ to keep the pressure on and you try to get rid of that Hawk. But of course, you got Harrison Dula right there. And if I'm not mistaken, last turn was Leia was used. Which means that Hera's not stressed and can K-turn or sloop behind, probably sloop, behind ZZ this following turn because she is not stressed. So watch out for that. Yeah, it, it's going to be kind of interesting. We got like 29, 
29 minutes and change left with Ray kind of out of the fight next turn. Uh, that's kind of kind of be a reset to try and get Ray to come around one of those um, those obstacles. Probably going mm -hmm. more to the left to to re-engage the rebels as they circle around here to uh, engage Poe and ZV. Uh Poe sitting there with his with the shields down, uh, mm -hmm. potentially taking three shots depending on where Hera. Hera ends up unless Hera focuses on ZZ in that sloop. I love it when A Wing sloop. I just I'm a big fan of that that maneuver. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> There's something something extra stylish about it, right? Yep, you can you just a sloop. Uh and then uh it'll be interesting to see. Like so Moldy Crow or uh Kyle in the Hawk needs to kind of get out of the way for ZZ, which uh going on that initiative uh, three ZV being initiative five, followed by Hera being six. Having all that that information, um, if the, uh, Hera is uh, is not stressed, doesn't do the sloop. Could be a dance. Could be a dance. Rivaldrin saying, "Would would be fun if you could kidnap quote unquote crew from other factions." <laughs> I think talking about like uh, Kira right now on Ray. <laughs> that would have been a good uh, like flavor text for like Hondo. I mean, I, I like Hondo's ability just for messing with people, uh, but you know, being a space pirate, having a boarding party of some sort, since you can, there's some instances where you can dock right, like your own ships. Mm -hmm. That'd be great. There's nothing uh, like that in epic format, right? Mm, not yet. Maybe now with this squid thing coming oh, out. Oh, yeah. Who, who knows? I know it's got some abilities at range zero. I, I Honestly, I've been so focused on everything else. I have not read through all those cards. It's all been kind of... The information I know about it is more just, just kind of pouring over and like, hearing other people talk about it. But looking forward to uh, getting getting that in hand. I do have it pre-ordered already. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll crack it open and take take a look at what's in the box. Got to crack it open because it's like the Kraken of spaceships. <laughs> the Kraken. All right. We got a coordinate here from Benthic. Just racking up the tokens. Making decisions here. Gonna go ahead and give the action to Hera. Pretty sure we just saw the game Eeny Meeny Miny Mo there. <laughs> oh, you know, <laughs> can I tell you, um, I accidentally taught my daughter that Eeny Meeny Miny Mo uh, can be rigged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> so she's uh she's figuring it figuring it out. Yeah, she she goes she 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 realizes it. You know that the second like if you're between two people, the second person always gets it because you're moving on the beat, right? Mm -hmm. But she, she used her her knowledge for good. I saw this happen uh, at the park. So they were her and her friends were playing a game. Um. And it was between her and another person who was going to be this certain character. I can't remember who it was. Um, and Arwen said, oh, let's do Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo to figure out who it's going to be. And she I, – like I, I was looking at her and she, she she pointed to herself first. And she was like, oh, you won. You're going you're gonna to be the character. And the kid was so happy. It was, I, was like, I was like, oh, my kid. Aww. I was like, oh, my kid did a nice thing. This is cool. That's a proud moment. Yeah. Like I mean, that knowledge, that forehand knowledge, like of Eeny Meeny Miny Mo at that age on the playground. I mean, that's like look at your opponent's dial level of knowledge. <laughs> it is, <laughs> and she used it to help out another kid and make them have like make them feel good, which was awesome. Anywho, sorry, proud dad moment. It's Father's Day tomorrow. Yeah, you're you're. I mean, you you you're a daddy. You got a kid. Uh, on the way, on yeah, the way, it's, it's end bacon. of August. It's bacon. New new player coming on coming online. Got the GSP baby swag. It was like one of the first things I had to order. <laughs> oh no, Poe Poe bumps. You know what though? Oh. You you take away a shot. 
you take away a shot from Kyle, and you got a range one shot looking at Hera, and I don't think she's got a shot back at you. So you, you got to roll out some natties of, here. Out of arc, make this count. Make this it, count because Garvin is staring at you. It is in the bullseye, so it will be four dice. Oh. Oh. Got nothing. Not even the average of two denied. Uh. Heroic. You can't do it. You're one focus short. Well, too many. You know what I mean. Here's ZZ trying to do something. One hit. And nothing there. Got the squiggles. I must say, I like that Ray did that sloop. Got to call mm -hmm. it out when there's a sloop. Yep. Sloop. The chat's caught up. Somebody said uh, Dion's daughter has sense. Exactly. Two hits. Ooh, Garvin's been in that target lock. And not going to get anything, uh, any extra hits, but of course, going to be plus one because of Hera shenanigans. Focus to Garvin. Garvin passes it back. Those are top shelf uh. rebel shenanigans, and Poe is taking. Three damage down to one. First points given up right there. Zero to 39 going to Star-Lord. Just seeing that. Seeing uh, Poe getting caught in that bump from the Hawk 290. Taking away any action. We saw a bunch of eyeballs there. Where, where Whether it was on attack or, or um, defense there would have been. Brutal. Ladrian uh, echoing you and saying that the onesies are awesome. Babies. I love babies. Seeing babies with GSP swag is, is just a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be one of those things that are like, you know, answering the baby call at like zero dark 30 and be like, Rawr! and then seeing the little, little like rebel symbol or the, we got the uh, same team onesie. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I can't be mad at you for waking me up. <laughs> Cute. All right. Well, we got 20 minutes left. Can the resistance find a way to punch through the token shenanigans. And I, I think Ray being out of the fight, hitting that rock, is going to be one of the reasons that's really going to slow the damage output for Raphael. Because at this point, you're going to end up losing Poe most likely in the following turn. I expect yep. Benthic to probably take a right turn here. And Kyle to probably go left. Hera, Hera might just be slooping again. And uh, and Garvin, maybe, I don't know, maybe Garvin ends up going to the left as well. But there's a good chance you end up losing Poe. ZZ's offense has not been great. It's been uh, a, li a little anemic for sure. We'll see what yes. we end up getting. Especially with, like, the, the munitions haven't, haven't really done their thing uh, this game at all. And so ZZ just being in that... That A wing um, got has a lot of enemies in in the area to to kind of focus on. I could switch uh, to fire out the back back arc and keep some of those people still in arc without having to do too much. Would you go still go after Benthix and Spenthix right in front of you? Yeah, I mean you you got to take targets of opportunity. Unless you want to stress yourself, you can focus rotate pretty easily because cause RG2. But 
I guess you, you know what? If Ray is going to have a shot on Kyle next turn, or at least if you think that's going to happen, then you uh, you rotate. Actually, you'll have that information because Kyle moves first, right? Kyle is initiative three. Yeah. So if you can get both of them to shoot on Kyle, you do that. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I like it. So when we're when we are done with today's game, we're gonna play two rounds of GSP Pickums. We'll play a little music for y'all, then we'll call it a day. Today's actually my brother and sister's birthday. They are twins. They turn twenty six today. They're in Florida. Learning how to be adults. Figuring it out. Happy birthday to the to the uh, to your siblings. That's kind of a exciting I know <laughs> I had a lot of changes in twenty six. Mm-hmm. Got my big boy job. Yep. Started I'm, figuring I, life out. Yep. I, and I, I I got I got high hopes for them. I got high hopes, so we will see. I what, what's the Palpatine line? I, I watch your I, what is it? I watch your career with great interest. Is that what he, he didn't say? Career growth? I forget what he said. Somebody give no, me the I, line. Line. <laughs> gotta wait a minute thirty. Mm hmm. I oh, feel like it was career. Was it career? I watch, watch your career your with career, career with great, great interest. interest. We got the K-turn from Garvin. Says, you know what? I don't need Leia to K-turn. Just do. Just do. Well, with no targets right now, ZZ, just rotate. Like, there's... Just do it. And gonna go for a barrel roll. Boost. Interesting. So wanting to stay able to pursue Benthic. I don't think ZZ has a turn this turn, though. I mean, a shot. Excuse me. Target we'll lock. To... Oh, go ahead. No, you first. I was going to say, I'm going to have to do a two, two turn next to clear it. Clear uh -huh. that stress. And Poe turning two. Probably won't get too. I mean, I guess you could be defensive here. You're being shot right now by only Garvin. Oh, that is very aggressive. And I still think you're at range three. <laughs> Hera, no targets. Got two hits. Let's see, he's looking. He's going to go ahead and hold it. Hmm. Natties. Squiggles out. This is an obstructed shot. Ray into Garvin. Probably use the force for three. That's with Ray's ability. Being able to spend one force to alter a blank result to a hit or an evade. And do we have Hera close enough to do shenanigans? We sure do. Hera passes the focus of Garvin with the ability of Jin Ursul on Kyle Katarn. That token becomes an evade.
Okay. Now here's here's a here's a, a quick thing that happened there. You saw how you saw that ZZ checked uh, their arc. I, I didn't see the exact location, but you can look at the locate the where range one reaches and get a kind of an eyeball of where that uh, that hard two is gonna land you. Kind of use a little little comparative geometry. To, to see if you would stay on the board. I think after seeing that, uh, the range one bubble did overlap the edge just a little bit. But I, I think the two turn would actually be okay. I think it'd be on the board. Yeah, I see uh, Apostasus in the chat was also saying like, two turn makes me nervous. <laughs> just do it. I believe Trigger Happy have... Flyboy isn't on ZZ, it's on it's on Poe. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, something wicked is correct. The last engagement, it was the, the gas cloud that did it for uh for Garvin, not what I had said, Harris ability. I mean it they might as well have done it. <laughs> it would have worked as well. All right, 12 minutes and change left on the clock. What are your choices? Looks like we're waiting for the resistance. Yeah, really just contemplating um, the next moves here, I think, from the Rebels. Hera has a chance to catch catch Ray. Do you, do you try and get close to, close to that or stay... Stay away. Uh, stay away. Stay away. Kyle's worth 49 points. If you lose Kyle because Ray comes in and gets all hungry and you don't get any points back, I know it's pretty, you know, you got one damage to get to get to Poe, and then that would be a decent trade. But uh, you, if Poe ends up getting out here, does something... Uh, two turn away and decides to get an exit strategy and Ray just kind of comes in, take Kyle out and get out of town. Then the resistance wins. And Kyle is more, uh, you know, it is worth 49 points, which is more than the half that we have on Poe. Resistance is set. Rebels are just really contemplating who's he got left uh, benthic what is ooh what do you think benthic, benthic's gonna do not stressed got two people chasing him he might be debating stopping because he's got leia that would be un unstressful for 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 benthic you could stop and rotate Yep, and there's the Leia charges getting flipped. Here is a two-turn, so not what I thought. Maybe Kyle starts or somebody else has a red maneuver. Busting out a coordinate bow. And it's going to end up going to Kyle. It's the only ship in range. Gives it a focus. Kyle banking to the right. This probably means that Hera is, is turning around. Takes a focus action. Turns it into an evade. That is a stacked Kyle. K turn. Ooh. Target. Everybody's targeting Ray. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, think Ruben saw the win condition here. Yeah, and with those shields down on Ray, you got to put those arcs on. All right, and ZZ makes the turn easily. Two turn, no problem. Hi, how are you? As predicted. I'm really glad that worked, actually. Um, <laughs> 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 uh, 
Brought to you by the same person that predicted the Thai AG meta. Correct. I can only like only write hot takes unless they're wrong. <laughs> All righty, Ray scooting in, bumps the cloud, and is going to get absolutely shredded here. Four shots coming into Ray. Rolling for the cloud. Did they do that yet? Yep. Uh, I must have missed it. And hey, got a, it, was a, it was a, it was a crit. crit. All right. Hera did try to do a one turn, but ends up bumping into Ray. So no way that Ray is going to get a shot there. And looking at the current location, I don't think Ray has arc on Kyle. Nope. Does not have arc on Kyle. Only on two tubes. Yeah, just out on. It looks like it's just out on Garvin. All right, here's the start of engagement pass. Passing it to Hera to start up the engine. Range three. Going at two tubes. Remember, this ray is extremely light. Only the Millennium Falcon title. Ray's Millennium Falcon. One hit. You got two force. You could dump them both to get three hits. But is it worth it? I'd say probably not. You got a couple shots coming in. Although, when there's blinks, then you're like, ah, oh, should have spent that force. Exactly. I think, ah, oh, I should have gone bigger. <laughs> uh want to give up any more points on on ray especially with uh two if not three well we know three shots because benthic was in range and here we go zz trying to come up with something here two hits here's the defense roll and we got two eyeballs Hera should be able to take care of this if she's in range. Hera's ability limited to range 1 to 2. I didn't, e didn't even... Uh... Oh, there's the check. Just double checking. Alright. So, took a shield there. One hit, and un spends a force. So Benthic has shields down. Ray's got one force left. Shout out to Phil Schmidt for the sub. Woo -woo. Just got that uh, range one out the front back end array. And who? Oh, that spending that three hits and a crit. Ray rolls a blank. I mean, you, oh. you spend the force, right, to try to avoid one. Oh, and it's a structural damage, guys. That's Oof. a de that is a death wish. Structural damage. You got no way to mitigate damage now with your ability. That moldy crow just proven it ain't moldy. Nope. <laughs> Somebody told me one time, it's that good mold. I'm like, excuse me? Good mold. Yeah, penicillin mold. There you go. Uh, blue cheese for those of you who like that interesting food. Some tasty, tasty blue cheese uh, hamburger combos out there. Or blue cheese salads. Mm. Oof. Can't do it. I'm a wuss when it comes to food, though. <laughs> there, I'll say that there's a maple chicken salad, um, maple vinaigrette with blue cheese. So good. Two hits. And that was a range three shot. All right. 
right, they figured it out. They're going to go ahead and put that structural damage on. So Ray is at... She took another damage. She's at three now, correct? Correct. Oof. Yep, eight hull, five damage cards. Oof. Yeah, I, I don't think next turn uh, Ray's in a good... Um, Good spot. Uh, we got Benthic coming in with opportunities, and so far Benthic has just been able to shrug, uh, shrug ZZ and shrug Poe chasing him. Uh, and then you got Garvin that can just uh, set up as set up as well. Yeah, it it was tough. I mean, going after after Benthic, Benthic is just so much health. And then when it's backed up, when those two agility dice are backed up, and you're trying to get through, is it eight or nine? It's eight. When oh, you're I'm trying to get through eight health on a on a U wing, on two agility, that's essentially focus of eight every turn. It's gonna take a while. That's why. That's the reason why Kyle is the choice because you're getting rid of a resource in the tokens when Kyle has to spend it, but also you only need to chew through five health instead of eight that are focus of eight. Like it's gonna be the same on both sides, but uh, you know, th five is in fact smaller than eight, just a bit. <laughs> yeah, we we haven't seen as many I don't I don't early game there was a, a few uh reroll mods um but past that there hasn't been that many on the resistance side and then uh the rebels have just been able to keep up the the tyranny of that focus focus passing and converting into evades. Yeah. I mean that's why that's why this list is good. Right, it, it mm. is. It is what it does. Uh, expect whenever the next points are coming out. Who knows when it is? But I would fully expect this hit, this list to get hit. My question is, and it's always interesting. This is going to be AMG's first real points balancing where they're doing it themselves. My question mm. is, when they look at this list, you know, we call it Heratani is is probably the most common version. Heratani is. What do you see as the problem, and then what do you actually raise in points to make it so that this combination isn't possible, or you know, wh where what needs to go up in price first? Because FFG, their style was always it was kind of like pick pick one of the pieces in the problem and raise it, but we're only going to raise it a little bit. It wasn't, you know, they very rarely were making huge drastic changes. I think the most drastic change we got was um for the actual galactic championship when they said they for no reason whatsoever they decided to massively raise the points on um on the nantex hashtag we are data so from the sounds of it, it looks like we might <laughs> from the sounds of it it seems like we might end up getting the points before the next galactic championship qualifier which is the battle for Alderaan. but uh we will end up waiting and seeing we always play with with the the latest points. So, if they can get it to us, you know, before the event, we will use it. All right, Benthic coordinating a focus to Hera. I'm like coordinating, using his ability to pass one. Garvin scooting up. Yeah, Hera coming in, you know, just natively being 42 points. Mm-hmm. I-6. Uh, Kyle's pretty low, too. Seems pretty swanky. All right. Well, this is going to end up being the last round of the game. Time has expired. Without some miracle dice on Ruben's side, the game will end up going to, uh, excuse me, on uh, on Rafael's side. The game will end up going to Ruben and Team Mexico, ev adding a win to the win column. Even though they end up losing the series, those wins do end up mattering for the first tiebreaker in their group.
No space for Ray to do the sloop. Stays mm. in place, stressed. Oh. Got Ray, Ray. Ray, Ray, you tried so hard. Poe, turning around. See, I, I, I like this. There's opportunity. Poe, come on. Woody Woo pointing out in the chat, Kyle is the same base price as Dace Bonar. Yep. One hit, one focus, out of it. A couple people reporting that uh, late summer for new points. I did see that it was in the chat of AMG, but they've also said uh, October was the was the was the other one. So somewhere between July and October, right? Like some somewhere somewhere in there, we'll get it. Spend the focus for three. Ooh, two going into Benthic. There we go. Trying oh, to chip wait. away. Shenanigans. Oh, shenanigans. Pass the focus. Give it an evade. Ooh. Takes one. So I'm telling you, the tank is a tank, man. <laughs> you just, we did get half, though. You did get half. Not tabled. Points on the board, 3174. Range one, another shot. No, you keep going into Benthic. Don't switch targets. No. No, no Garvin's untouched. Garvin's no. untouched. And uh, got a good roll too. Two hits and a crit. Oh, I wish that was going into Benthic. <laughs> and that's two two shields. Oh man, that could have been hit crit into into Benthic two tubes. You may have been able to kill him with Ray. Ah. Uh... Spends a target lock on Ray. And only one crit ends up getting out of that target lock. You got a single force. And pass the token to add an evade. Well, sad face. No damage done by Ray. Sad face indeed. The uh, conversions on those target locks... Haven't been haven't been too good. No, they've been bad for sure. <laughs> but I like that. Uh, the just grab the focus. Here you go, Garvin. Garvin. Oh, spent it. Send it back to Hera. Here you go. You have your focus back. Here's the re-roll or the roll. Excuse me. Range one, four dice. Only going to reroll two of them because he has access to focus. And that's going to be a full string into Ray. Uh -oh. Ray's going down. The structural damage guarantees that. That's 109 points scored by Ruben. He's putting on the pain. Again, Team Mexico did lose this round, but he's going to make sure not to lose this game. He's going hard. And that is the game. Congratulations to Ra uh, Ruben for winning that game. Rafael uh, is our loser in that one. It is 31 to 109. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons. 
and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.